hope you had a good breakfast, because this one's kind of messy. Dave, hey. OK, Sergeant, it's all yours. Any angles, Bill? Not that I can see. Just a neat job of decapitation. Head completely severed from the body. That makes two killings in a week. Let's hope this isn't going to become an epidemic. Thanks. Okay, let's have a look. Same MO as last week. No fingerprints, no suspects, no motives, no nothing. Boy, Ann Barron, she worked as a teacher's aide here. When did it happen? Uh, about six last night, I guess, uh, right after school closed. All right. I give up. Where's the rest of her? This bitch you're not going to believe. Why? Why would he mutilate her over there and bring the head here and put it in a bucket? You asking me? You're the college genius. I'm just the cop. You want shots of the building? Of everything. Yeah, she beats the hell out of me. Who found her? This morning, the director, when she came into work, she's inside. Hey, Roberts, would you clear that sidewalk for crying out loud? I'm not going to get much out of her. She's pretty shook up. How long have you known Ann Barron? Oh, uh, a couple of months, maybe. She came to work here in September. Oh, such a sweet girl. She loves children, and they love her. Can you tell me anything about her activities outside of work? Nothing, really. She worked here during the day to put herself through school. Do you know where she went to school? Yes. She attended classes in the evening at Wendell College. That's a girl's school on Beacon Hill. She was studying to be a teacher. <laughs> in touch with you. Give me some and drink this. You'll feel better. <laughs> It's all right. Everything will be all right. I don't want the press in here until we get an official ID from the parents. I'll I want this best. whole area sealed off, and I want your boys to go over it with a fine-tooth comb. Who did that already? What'd you get? Nothing.